G'day, my name is David Troy, and this is the David Troy Salon, because this is the start of 2019. If you're new to my channel, and you want to know who I am, I'm a hairdresser, I'm from Australia, I own this salon in New Braunfels, Texas, I'm over 20 years experience in the industry, I've cut hair all over the world, now I'm not saying that I know everything about hairdressing, but I've run into a lot of different things and I have a lot of answers. Now that it's 2019, back in the shop. I took a break from YouTube for the month of December. It was crazy. So let me catch you up to date with how December went. I got pneumonia. I got an enlarged heart apparently. I got um, asthma. And I continued working through the whole month. So it was crazy, I was sick, I was booked from 6 in the morning till 7 at night, um, every day. Should I say I'm back on track, I'm looking forward to this year, I'm glad December's behind us, we've got some great stuff happening, and I'm very excited about what's coming up this year. So let's just jump right into it, look this is Charlie, this is the before and she's an amazing person. I'm going to put a link to her story below. She's going on a mission trip for nine months and this girl you've got to get behind her and support her. She's great but we're going to change her look a little bit today and we're going to freshen everything up. So her trip it's called the World Race and what she has to do is raise money before she leaves so go and check her story out. I'm going to put a link to it in my profile below. So since Charlie's going on this mission trip, I don't want to turn her too platinum blonde or too much colour because she's going to be travelling a lot <clears throat> in other countries. So what we're going to do is we're just going to brighten everything up. I'm going to do a bit of an ombre and we're going to break it up with some blonde. Now everyone's got their own style of doing this, so what I typically do is I take a section across the bottom, I tease it a little bit to get that hair out of the way, but I also do a bit of a weave. So you can see my sections here are quite large, there's uh, quite a bit of hair in between, so we're not going to see a full f platinum blonde ombre down the bottom, we're going to see a lot of natural tones running through it. So I work my way up the back of the head, and I still weave the section out, just to give it that broken up look. I don't want it to be too solid. So as I continue working up the head, when I paint the colour on, I'm painting it on more like a V section and just blending it up into the crown area. Because as I said, you can see here my sections are wide. I don't want to put a lot of colour in a hair, but I want enough to be noticeable. So I'm going to leave that whole top section out because we don't want that to be blonde on the very top. But you can see I just really want to get a little bit of a broken up look. So now after I finish that top section I move on to the side. Now I do want a little bit more colour around her face. So what I'm doing is I'm taking diagonal back sections. You can see I'm weaving the colour out like you do a normal foil but I'm not putting it all the way to the root area. I'm just blending it up. I want it to be a little bit heavier around her face so it's noticeable but not over the top. So I'm not going too blonde with it but as I say I do want to see that little bit of lightness around her face. And as I work up the side panel here, my sections are a little bit closer together than what I actually did in the back. And I'm making sure that we get that nice little chunk in the front. I just want to break it up. I, don't, I want it to look natural, obviously, but I do want to see quite a bit lighter or a little bit lighter around her hairline. So as this grows out, there's not going to be any major regrowth. It all blends in together, but you are going to see that lighter tone. 
Now still taking diagonal back sections so as I get into the front area it is going to be lighter in the back but there's going to be more of a triangle section on top where we're not actually going to be putting color so we end up with that little bit of section on top that lays over the top of the rest of the ombre so it helps it blend in and as I say because Charlie's going to be traveling in other countries I don't want it too platinum blonde we just want to make it look natural but we do want to see a little bit of color here so I'm just continuing working on that V section application. You can see it a little bit better here that I'm trying to blend it into the top. I want that to be pretty natural looking, but I'm really happy with the way this color is applying. I'm actually using Synchro on 30 volume on Charlie's hair because I know if I lift it too light, I can always tone it down, but I don't think that's going to be the case here. So I think this color turned out amazing. It's exactly what I wanted. So don't forget to check back next week and have a look at the haircut we do on Charlie to complement this color. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you next week.